Hey, what's up, YouTube, and welcome to another Gil Ball Match Report. Today, Aaron's bringing his union in versus my Masons. Uh, this is going to be a really interesting game with all the new 4.2 stuff. Um, so I got a lot of new toys to play with. Aaron's got some ideas about what he can do with the new union. He's coming in with Blackheart Coin, Avarice and Greed, Minx, Grace, and Rage. Meanwhile, I'm taking the kickoff six. That's what I want to play. Honor, Marbles, Flint, Mallet, Harmony and Brick. So, uh, yeah, I figured let's try out the new honor changes and let's just play kickoff. You know, kickoff used to be so viable in season three. Um, and they weren't very good at the start of season four, but let's see how well they're going to do now. Now, for the union, Aaron's playing a 2 2 game. He can actually play pivot all the way down to 1 4 with his damage. He wants to focus the deep threats, meaning my strikers. He wants to be able to extend ANG for where ANG and thuggery is needed. And finally, want to be opportunistic with the scoring as opposed to playing that old Blackheart Spider Man game. Uh, now he's going to be looking for goals when they become available. For the Masons, we're playing a 2-2, and this time we can pivot to a 3-0. Uh, one, we want to be able to control the scrum with the new brick. Two, take advantage if you need at least one linked goal if you're taking no harmony, otherwise it's not worth it. And three, despite being a heavy goal-scoring team, you got to have takeout pressure. And this is something I firmly believe with all teams save fish, maybe. So you got to have a takeout possibility on the table. You have to keep your opponent honest about trying to keep things healed and uh, keep players on the pitch for activations. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and speed this up and let's get going. Kickoff is going to come from uh, Flint here, who's going to kick it uh, right across the midline there, but really kind of cross court the whole thing. So uh, there's the cross court kick. Um, yeah, not much to explain here. It's a, it's a pretty standard kick. Um, it's weird to be kicking that far away from himself, but I really uh, I want to see if I could do something shallow enough to try and steal or at least force an earlier activation by, say, Blackheart. Um, not saying that that's going to work, but hey, you know, Flint's kicking off and we're going to see what's going on here. You can see influence being allocated there. Um, this is interesting because, uh, you know, Aaron and I haven't been playing much Gil Ball lately, so, uh, there's going to be some wasted influence on the table here. Grace is just going to go up. She's going to go ahead and retrieve the ball, kick it over to Blackheart, be happy with her life. Meanwhile, I'm going to just sprint Brick up into cover there, uh, which is disgusting. 2-3 and cover there is, uh, is going to be rough. Next up. It looks like uh, we've got Coin, who is going to bag a coffers onto, I believe it's Minx. Um, I forgot to mention that Grace did quick foot on, uh, I believe, Blackheart. And I'm going to put the monkey there into position just for a counter charge. Now, kind of positioning where that bubble is going to be. Um, I'm used to playing the old style counter, counter charge where you have a double bubble, but uh, one bubble is going to be just fine here. Looks like that was some movement by rage and flint is going to take a very wide he's going to take a wide position there on the board trying to keep flint out of that horrible scrum there with uh, o rage and angie there's angie kind of moving into position so fairly slow first turn i'm going to go ahead and just jog um, mallet up but see leaving the influence on mallet that's a tell we know obviously where super, superior strategy is going to go here comes minx up the board there um she's going to go ahead and do an axe toss on brick do some damage to brick with uh, snare and she's also going to mark target on brick and i believe honor so nice little mix still continuing to be a nice little setup piece as we knew her to be. Um, and uh, he's got just Blackheart to go. I'm going to go with Harmony and basically waste two influence there. Wasn't sure if we were going to get into a scrum earlier rather than later. But this new Mason's uh, flexibility is quite nice. So now it looks like we have um, 
we have Blackheart trying to declare a charge on Brick. Um, faces a counter charge by Marbles, uh, which does nothing. Um, but then Brick is, I'm sorry, um, Blackheart is going to go ahead and start the, uh, the party there on Brick. And while 2 3 and cover is just, it's pretty brutal. I mean, yeah, it's a low dice score, but you're not going to get too, you're not going to get really that high up your playbook. Um, so, Blackheart's going to do a little bit of, mostly just dodges, you know. He, he does a little bit of damage, um, ends up doing some more dodges, passes the ball back to Minx. So this was kind of a let's get forward, get a little bit of momentum, and put ourselves in position to vie for first turn. First turn. Um, now let's go with Honor. She's going to go ahead and quick time Mallet because we know where that's going. So she's superior strategies and then quick times him. And then she's going to sprint up the board, leaving Mallet uh, as the uh, final activation here for the turn. Again, that superior strategy... It, it may not give you the influence like it used to or allocate influence the way it used to, but it gives you activation control, which is super important. And now Honor actually has an identity uh, as far as a play style to really dominate activation control. Mallet's going into, uh, I believe this is Grace. Yeah. So Mallet's going to knock down Grace. Uh, it's going to get a little bit of momentum here. To put me in contention for turn, I'm going to go ahead and win turn um, and uh, start to set things up here. So this is where we're, you know, this is right before the scrum. This is right before where things are about to get uh, pretty serious here. You can see that big old stack going on Blackheart and Angie. Um, Angie looks like they're just going to be playing, I don't know, he's got more, uh, more influence going to Angie. Now here's the interesting thing. I played, um, go for the knees and I gave that to Brick. So I got four on Brick after the legendary. So even, uh, uh Honor's going to go immediately and legendary, and then she's going to go straight into Minx there. And she is just going to knock down Minx. Minx declares the counter, but on the first hit, managed to score the knockdown. And th this is just sheer luck. The ball bounces directly to Honor. Like, you really can't, you know, I, I always cry about my luck and stuff in, the, in playing miniature games. But that was that was pretty hot right there. So uh, Honor's going to go into Minx, do a little bit more damage, and then... Um, with her final influence, she's just going to kick the ball all over to her sister. First, she's going to do a couple of push dodges. So not just a little bit of damage to Minx, not much. So we're trying to triangulate this pass here. Now it looks like still uh, still beating up Minx a little bit. Here comes the pass, goes, uh, passes successful over to Harmony. Now, I should have dodged forward, but it's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, with her three influence, I'm going to um, sprint all the way around, do an acrobatic, and uh, try to kick that goal. So he played um, offside trap. Uh, to force me, I believe, in, in this case. No, not yet. He did, he hasn't played that yet. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and kick the linked goal with Harmony. So there we go. Uh, putting the Masons on the board. 4-0. And this ball is going to come flying back in. And it seems to be magnetic to Honor. Because it just it's going to land there and get contested between Blackheart and Honor. Honor is going to win that. And the ball's going to sit on honor. Now, Aaron's okay with this because the ball being over there is dead. He doesn't necessarily, he's not necessarily thinking goal right now. Um, he wants to do some beatdown. So here comes Angie into Mallet. 
and A and G is going to do a fantastic job. Basically, going to take Mallet all the way down to something like four or five HP. This is uh, A and G is is really pretty damn good for um, you know con controlling a scrum with takeout pressure. Not necessarily controlling a scrum, but um, you know greed being able to set up targets with um, singled out, uh, which was a little dicey, but you know, he didn't really care if uh, if Mallet went back and agreed for at least one hit. But uh, he does some some pretty mean damage to um, to Mallet there. Mallet's gonna. It looks like Mallet's just gonna go and just you know do whatever he needs to do with the rest of his life. He's gonna uh, gain a little bit momentum. Put some. I think he puts. Uh, um, singled out back on grace and then heals himself also knocks down um avarice there so mallet looks like he's the one that's going to die and rage is the one who decides that he is going to do it oh so it looks like i may have lost some footage there but um yeah rage is is putting in some work on mallet mallet um defensive encounters just to keep rage at bay just to do the one attack uh and it looks like we've got uh brick here into minx so brick is gonna looks like knock down um knockdown and pushback into two crowd outs so minx is gonna be is, is in a scary spot right now uh and he's also gonna do like something like six damage and concussion twice which is just gonna wreck the turn for for minx there leaving her on one influence and keeping her in two crowd outs um he's also gonna spend i think some of this uh, momentum to heal uh mallet a little bit or no, I don't, I don't think so. I think Mallet's on two. So I think I've accepted Mallet's fate and I'm just going to try to win a momentum race here. Coin's going to go in. Um, I think it gives Bag of Coffers to itself and tries to hit Mallet um, and does a, may do a I think it's a miss actually. Um the monkey, meanwhile, is just going to kind of try to do uh, a hit there and then just move off, set up counter charge again. And here it looks like we've got uh, Blackheart taking matters into his own hands and attacking Mallet. So uh, he's going to take out Mallet, putting the Union up uh, in, on the board two to four. And then basically wheel around over to Honor. He doesn't want to move um, to trigger that counter charge. Now here's the interesting thing. I thought for at this point, I thought he was gonna legendary to try to, um, you know, make it harder to take out Minx uh, and do the stuff I need to do this turn. But I, I don't know if um, maybe he was looking for a better opportunity to legendary, but he doesn't legendary. He's he's. Uh, working some more damage on honor and I don't think he takes the ball I think he's just um, just trying to beat up honor a little bit and slide into cover there so over here it looks like I've got uh, Flint going into a knockdown um, avarice and he's going to do some push dodges net me some more momentum and then he's also going to trigger, um, well, he's going to do another push dodge. And I'm checking, oh yeah, I can, I can trigger where they go off the playbook and do one attack on Grace. No reason, I don't know, other than maybe trying to keep Grace into some combat and get me more momentum because that's what we want to do. So... I was pretty impressed by Brick this turn, just, you know, loading him up, giving him the go for the knees, uh, and then just getting into Minx there. Pretty nice. Grace is going to uh, head over and heal Minx. 
I think she, I, f I forget. She does healing light on Minx, that's right. And she's trying to attack, um, I think she just tries to attack Flint or, or no, looks like, uh, Honor and misses against Honor. So we're in full scrum mode now. Uh, this is where the game starts to trudge a little bit. Honor is going to um, basically uh, counterattack Minx and get herself out of combat. Minx is trying to figure out what to do. She is, um, I think she, she scores another dodge there. And hits Brick with a bleed, I believe. So we're going for turn again, and it looks like I'm all I'm gonna win turn because I've got you know just Mason's just being able to pile on momentum with basic stuff is pretty awesome. I mean that's you know you you it's a trade off because you're picking low playbook results, but so you're not your burst damage really isn't there, and you can see I'm really struggling to try to take anything out. That was a lot of influence that just went into Minx. Um, and it was nice to be able to concuss her twice. But um, with Aaron's healing uh, I, and my, my low damage results, was not really able to do much to, um, to Minx there. Um, so legendary, my legendary's gone. Aaron still has the legendary on the table. And I'm going to set up for... An activation here but I I've got a lot of I've got a lot of good personnel in place oh actually sorry it looks like Aaron got to go first so Aaron um, moves off with tries to move off into honor with uh, minx and this is where Again, like another kind of gotcha moment there with uh, the marbles counter charge, and I spend poised. So, uh, so marbles, um, I think just does a little bit of damage to Minx there, and so Minx is out of combat. She's just going to axe toss on um, uh, Honor and get out. Right. So now, but Minx is in trouble. She's on like three health. She's got marbles, um, you know, within three inches of her. And Honor's there ready to go. So Honor's going to go pass the, immediately pass the ball to her sister. Dodge up into Minx. Uh, quick time marbles into position there um, and she is going to do a couple of attacks on minx with the assist which is quite nice um, because i did chuff like one of the rolls i was hoping to kill her in one attack um, with a, what was essentially a momentous three on two and then uh and then be able to superior strategy but that doesn't work um, I just go ahead and looks like I lost a little bit of footage there, but um, we, we, we end up um, taking out Minx and then uh, Harmony's going to spend her activation to go up and kick a goal. So six points on the board, putting the Masons up 10 to 2. And so the ball goes in and gets thrown out super, super wide there, which is good for Aaron. Um, and I'm trying to figure out, okay, Masons are not like... They're not like Midas. This is that's going to be a pretty tough uh, ball to get. Um, so this could be a, an instance where, say, you may you might want to have Champ in the lineup because that stamina is going to be great, especially if you're able to superior strategy stamina. That's a really really deep threat. That's a good ball retrieval piece there. Uh, so at this point. Blackheart is going to do a bunch of work into Honor, who was bruised up pretty hard from the last couple of turns. Take her out, putting the the Mason, uh, sorry, the Union up to four, 
and again, no legendary, and I, I he doesn't have a good opportunity to use it here. I thought he was going to use it last turn um, because he, he kind of had a good array there, it, and it may have kept Minx around a little bit longer. So here comes uh, O-Rage into Brick. And he's going to do some choppy chops on Brick. Now, Gravity Well was working pretty well there. I forgot to mention that. Gravity Well with uh, with uh, Minx coming around the corner earlier in the turn, getting sucked back in, counter getting countered by uh, Poised, and then counter-charged. That's a, that's a tech sandwich going on there, right? Those are three things going on that I don't really have to pay for or anything. They just... Two of them are passive, and actually one of them is totally passive. That's gravity well. The other one, counter charge, is something I just have to declare. And poised, again, is also something I just have to declare. Um, looks like Flint is going to swing around the corner there. Uh, and basically, Flint is just sort of kiting A and G. Um, it, it, Flint never really makes much attempt to make an honest goal here. He's just he just wants to stay around. He just wants to keep it on the table, keep pressure going. Um, your opponent's going to have to deal with Flint somehow because um, Flint is such a, a crazy goal threat that you can't keep the ball anywhere near him. Brick is going to go into uh, Grace, knock down Grace. He's also going to go into Blackheart and knock down Blackheart. So here comes Angie measuring uh, some room here over to Flint. Uh, who's really like the next good likely target for Aaron trying to get that third takeout? Um, and he ends up doing some, he does some pretty good work to Flint there to, uh, to beat up Flint. Knocks him down, uh, does, I think, a bunch of damage, just kind of leaves... Um, Flint on something like five health. Uh, late in the turn, I'm going to go ahead and charge with uh, Mallet there. Um, I did have the get back in there card, so uh, a little bit more movement coming in. And this is really just going to this is going to net like six damage and a momentum off of uh, off of O Rage. O Rage still has a pretty deep health track, but you know. No time like the present to start, and really he's the easiest takeout on the board for me, just trying to get that final takeout. So here it looks like uh, I think Grace is just doing a little bit of... Uh, oh no, the, sorry, that was Coin trying to get the last little bit of momentum to try to win turn. Um, it looks like I'm going to go ahead and win turn. You see Honor going up there into the, the very top of the screen, trying to threaten that ball. So I'm going to put, uh, I think, like four on Honor, three or four on Honor, and then four on her sister. And then uh, also still planning on a big turn with Brick. It's it's like it's so weird for me to put influence on Brick because like before you just didn't put anything on him, but I really feel like it's worth it now. Minx is gonna come in there, snatch up the ball, and um, and hide there behind the. Couldn't tell if that was. I think that's fast ground. I, I couldn't tell if it was fast ground or rough ground. Um, I probably should have asked, but anyway. I am going to end up with first activation. I get a shadow like from the plot card I played. And I'm trying to figure out, okay, Honor can go over there. She can take the ball. Um, but she can't pass to her sister. She's too far with her 4-6 kick. So Honor's just going to jog up there. And then quick time across the uh, terrain. I, again, I don't know if that was if that was fast ground. I should have just walked into it. I don't think it was fast ground though. Uh, Aaron might be scratching his head, going, "Hey, that was fast ground." <laughs> but anyways, um, so Honor is going to go ahead and take the ball, and um, 
uh, and then double dodge. Uh, Minx did a counter, which really, I don't recall, did anything meaningful. So Honor's going to do a little putt-putt shot there. Nice little scatter. So nice accurate kick there from Honor. Activate Link. And you know how the rest of the story is going to go. So I have two momentum. Oh, that's right. He played um, uh, Offside Trap in this case. Um, but yeah, you can see where Harmony is just going to go ahead, slide out, and run up and kick a goal. So that's going to do it for this video. I want to thank everyone for watching. And we will catch you on the next one.